Okay. Today, what we are looking at is ice on something floaty in some water. Just a glass bowl of water with approximately it's about eight inches, about eight inches in diameter. Now I'm trying to wait for this to stop moving and stay in the middle. But I'm just going to prove to you that everything is magnetic and I'm going to push this ice with this bunch of magnets. Now, Simon Dan, the uneducated person that he is that has never done an experiment in his life, uh, proceeds to tell me and all his subs that nothing is affected by this and that everything is gravity. Well, Simon Dan himself admitted that all atoms have the potential to be magnetic. So when things grow out of the ground by electrostatic force, electricity and electromagnetism, every single atom of that growing plant is affected by magnetism. So hopefully it will make people understand that trees don't just appear and then, oh no, it can't be electromagnetism. It starts off and it is built by the attraction of atoms. All right, so if I can move this piece of ice with these magnets, Perhaps I know some things that you people don't. Uh, I think it's got stuck to the side, hang on. Uh, okay. Seems pretty steady. I'll move it that way first. I'm stood behind the camera. I'm trying to get this with the black so that you can see I'm not touching anything. It works at about two or three millimeters away. I'm hoping you can see that move across. Now I'm going to move it back again without touching it. About two mil. I'm trying to keep it way above. Oh shit, we're stuck on the back. Can't you bastard move away from there? Uh, I'm not moving my magnet, but I'm trying to get it because it's locked itself to the back. Let me just. Not touching it. I'll move it with me hand, otherwise. Somebody's going to say, for fuck's sake. Ugh, stop moving. <laughs> I don't have a bigger glass bowl so that you can see it's just water. Right. So wait till it calms down again. I'll probably just cut between them, but I guess I can't, just in case somebody starts complaining. All right, we'll move it from this side this time. Right, bang in the middle of the bowl. That's about between two and three millimetres away. And we can see it moving. Now I'm going to move it back just to show that I'm not a liar. Move it all the way to the other side. So this is ice, water, being affected. being affected at a range of approximately two... Oh, we're stuck on the fucking glass again. And let's try and move it while it's stuck to the bloody edge of the glass. So we're about two mil away. Hey, almost hit it, but didn't. No, it's grabbed the sides by electrical surface tension. I'm going to do this for a while, just so you all know I'm not a lion's sack. Oh, God, it's lightly away there we go. Okay, let's try it again. So we're at approximately two, three millimetres. Go in that way now before it bloody touches anything. Moving it back the other way. And again. This way. Now you can do this with apples. There's videos on the internet. I saw this the other day and just thought it was perfect because I've got loads of magnets. So the point is that this water uh, has magnetic properties before anybody says, oh, it's diamagnetic or paramagnetic or dielectric. I don't know any of those words or what the hell they mean. I just know that energy moves matter. And the funny thing is, people say, oh, plants aren't affected by it. 
Well, every plant on the planet contains iron. So of course it's affected. This is a complete created system which is why everything works with magnetism. It's been designed to. Matter doesn't move. Energy has to move matter. Matter can't move itself. And so iron is in everything so that electromagnetism and magnetism and electricity can all interact with the matter and make it do something. Which is exactly what I'm doing. Except I'm doing it with water. So you can probably take my word for it that uh, it works with plants. Just move it over to the far edge of the bowl. Maybe back all the way to the other side. Get some speed up. Does it always push it? Yeah, both sides push. Cool. There we go. Positive proof. The magnetism moves water. You're full of water. The whole planet's full of water. Every plant is full of water. A lot of rocks are full of water. The atmosphere is full of water. And I just moved it with magnetism. Thanks very much. My name is Lee. I follow the Christ. And I'm showing you all the things he showed me. Thanks. Bye.